To begin, we're going to start with stretching our necks. So we're going to look up, and then we're going to look down. We're going to really gent gentle here to begin with. Now, when you look down, you want to push the back of your head up to the ceiling. And look up. And when I look up, I'm going to push my chin up to the ceiling. And down. We're going to do another rotation. Once. down. Now we're going to look over the left shoulder as far as we can without moving our shoulders and over the right shoulder. Make sure you're exhaling as you go to the next side. This is going to be constant throughout all of our movement. So exhale, inhale, and exhale. Don't have your knees locked. Make sure your knees are bent slightly. Your arms are loose. Your fingers are soft. And back to the center. Now we're going to do neck rotations. Tuck your chin. Bring your ear to your shoulder. Go over the side, but don't go back. Just go across your shoulder line to the other shoulder and down slowly. And then ear across the shoulder line and down. Make sure you're exhaling. Inhale as you come up and over, and exhale as you go down. Now we're going to change the direction. Inhale as you cross your shoulder line, exhale as you go down. You don't need to do these at any specific speed. They can be as slow as you want. Good. Now I'm going to hold it to the right side. I'm going to bring my right hand up and look it over my head. And I'm just going to let the weight of my arm lightly stretch the side of my neck a little bit more. As you know, we do a lot of rolling, uh, ground fighting, movement on the ground. We get up on our shoulders. Shoulder injuries uh, and neck injuries in this area are among the most common types of injuries in this martial art. So, of course, it's really important that we keep this part of our body strong uh, and flexible. Again, here, I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm just letting the weight of my arm uh, do an easy stretch here. And don't let your chin come forward on this. Tuck your chin in and you'll feel a more quality stretch. And relax. Now rotate your shoulders. Easy shoulder rotations back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and four, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm tucking my chest in and pushing my back out as I do this. Good. And now I'm going to do rotations like this left over right, right over left. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Elbow rotations. Six, seven, eight, nine, another way, once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now I'm back and forth. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Good. And now, once, comb hair. Great exercise on the shoulders. We broke it down in the basics a little bit here. I'm going at a little bit faster pace here, connecting all the exercises into one for you. So we've got a routine to do together. Seven, eight, nine. And 10. And now we're going to start working down the body and we're going to go side to side here. Now a common mistake here is to twist on the knees. Don't do that. Just isolate. Go side to side on the spine. And as I'm doing this, I'm extending my right arm around, getting a light stretch into that bicep. Four, five. You can feel that stretch here as I go around to that bicep, opening up the shoulder. Don't put a load into those knees. It's all upper body here now, for now. 
Good. And now I'm going to bring my arm around here, and you're going to feel a different stretch and a different muscle in your shoulder. And my arm comes all the way around. Now, when I was explaining the fundamentals, the hand strikes the adrenal gland here. Just a light tap on the back. You're going to feel that stretch in your shoulder. Work on a whole different muscle group. Nine. Ten. Good. Okay, now relax the arms. We're going to bring the arm, right arm up. Stretch over to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. Now we're going to revisit this type of stretch when we're on the ground. But right now we're actually working a different muscle group than when we're on the ground. Seven, eight, nine. We're going to hold it for a couple more seconds. And ten. Good. Come up. Inhale as you come up. And now basic hip rotations. Once, twice, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now bring the feet together and just gentle knee rotations. Don't go too hard on these. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These you could work out on the ankles as well. But very gentle, very light on these. Just keep, helps keep the knees uh, pliant and uh, strengthens those support muscles inside the knees. You want to take care of the knees in this martial art specifically. Good. Straighten up the legs. And now we're just going to let our body bend forward. Get the stretch into the back of the legs and into the lower back. And what I'm doing here is I'm only letting the weight of my body do the stretch. I'm not pushing it. I'm not trying to go down and do a different type of stretch. Just letting the weight of my body fall. Getting that stretch in here. And the buttocks, the hamstring, the lower back. And open that all up. And I'm going to come up. Inhale as I come up. Step to the left and step to the right. Good, now I'm going to keep my legs straight here, and I'm going to keep my feet parallel. I'm going to breathe in, and then as I exhale, I'm going to put the weight on my balls of my feet, and I'm going to stretch forward. Now, it's important when I do this, so when I stretch forward, is that I don't move the hips back like this, but instead, I come forward. So just like this, and get that stretch over, try not to move the hips back, and come down. Good. You should feel that your toes are digging into the ground when you do this. I'm going to start to move that stretch down more into the calves behind the knees. My knees aren't locked out, as you can see. They're loose. I'm really digging into the balls of my feet here. And i got a nice, easy stretch. And again, just using the weight of my body to do the stretch. Now from here, I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them on the ground. I'm going to turn around just for the benefit of the camera. So I'm in this position here. Stretch down. I'm going to put my hands out in front of me like this. Now from here, you can hold this position for 10 or 20 count. I like to hold this for a long time, especially because of the demands of our martial art. We want to have really uh, wide, uh, solid range of motion in our groin and in our hips. So keeping the feet parallel, making sure that the soles of the feet are on the ground when we do this. Don't stretch. Uh, it's, it's not how far you stretch, it's how good you stretch. So we want to get in there, and if you feel any pain, that's your body not telling you that weakness is leaving it. That's stupid. Anybody who says that is wrong. I'm sorry if any Marines are out there. All the respect to you guys, but that's a wrong statement. Pain is your body telling you that you're screwing up. Uh, so if you're going to the point of pain, uh, where it's sharp pain in your muscles, that's not good. You want to go to where you're feeling that tension. Tomorrow, if you're working out crack, you should feel the, the proper aches, uh, but no sharp pains. So here, now what we're going to do is we're going to lift the toes off the ground. We're going to transition into a different muscle group. Now I'm putting my toes to the ceiling as you can see here. I'm going to hold that for a little while. Now 
Now from here, I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them behind me. I don't want to lower my body to the ground hard. I don't want to drop. I'm going to put my hands behind my hips, as you can see. I'm in, my fists are actually behind my rear end right now. And then from here, I'm going to lower myself down gently without losing that stretch. So all this entire stretch now is still engaged. Now when I'm doing the stretch, I don't want to push my back. My lumbar shouldn't be back like this. Instead, my body should be straight. If you're doing this correctly, even I have a range of motion, I can put my chest down onto the ground easily. But with my legs out like this, and everything's engaged correctly, I can stretch just to this point. I can feel a really good quality stretch going on in the groin right now. Now, of course, if I bend my back just a little bit, boom, I can drop right down and I can impress the heck out of everybody. But that's not what this is about. It's about quality of stretch. So from here, keep the body straight. And when we do this, I want you to imagine your belly button touching the ground, not your nose. Touching the nose to the ground is easy, but touching your belly button to the ground is a different thing. And again, Go to where you feel the tension, but don't go any further. You don't need to. So we're going to go to this point, and we're going to hold for a good 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come up. We're going to do this one more time. What I want you to focus on now, <clears throat> I'm talking a lot, so even myself, I lose mindfulness as I'm talking and as I'm teaching. But when you're doing these stretches and you're doing them on your own, you want to make sure that you're following the basic breathing patterns that I taught right at the beginning uh, of this course. You're breathing, you're using your diaphragm, you're getting your hair down deep into the lower chambers of your lungs, and every movement has an inhale and an exhale. So you have to find that natural rhythm, and it's extremely important that your stretching routine and every movement that you, uh, that you do um, has a... Uh, has a balanced breathing pattern to it. This is very important. So I'm exhaling as I'm coming down, not bending my back, keeping that back straight, keeping those toes to the ceiling, keeping my feet engaged, that stretch is still there from when I was standing, getting that belly button to the ground. Make sure I'm breathing with the diaphragm. Nice, good. And from here, I'm going to turn my body like this to a 90 degree angle. My shoulder line is at a 90 degree angle with this leg. If I need to put my hands on the ground to help with this, that's fine. And then I'm going to come forward. Again, as you can see, I'm keeping my torso straight. I'm not bending my back. I'm bringing my nose to the knee. Instead, keeping the torso straight. I'm just bending forward to the point where I feel the stretch no further. As you can see, this foot is still engaged. I still have quality tension going on here. It's loose. But I've got key extended down my leg. And this is a, a, a very strong feeling. My legs nice and locked in. Again, that stretch is still engaged from when I was standing. 90 degree angle with the torso and come forward. Come up and inhale. Wait till you're perpendicular to the ground. Turn on that axis. 90 degree angle with the torso to this leg, and then come forward. Again, don't bend that back. Don't bring the nose to the knee. Keep the back as straight as you can. Just bring the stomach forward. Someone asked me a while ago when we are doing these stretches, well, what if I have a stomach and I, you know, I can't can't I have to bend my back. I, my answer to that was lose the stomach. Sorry. So forward to the side and to the side. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to try to take this hand and I'm going to bring it to the outside of this foot. So I'm going to turn my back 45 or my shoulder line 45 more degrees to the outside as I do this stretch and I can support with the other hand. Slowly, inhale, wait till you get the perpendicular line here, turn, oops, the remote control, support with this hand, and bring this one over. And 
come up. Now, take your hands, bring them to the inside of your knees, lift your knees up, bring the soles of your feet together, hold your feet, bring your feet close to the crotch, and then from here, push with your elbows down to your hips, and then bring your belly button to your heels. This way for the benefit of the camera. Now from here, I'm just going to bend forward gently and I'm going to take my right hand to the outside of my left foot. Again, keeping the back straight. It's easy, uh, I mean I've got my OB on here so there's a lot of like, belt and stuff, but it's easy to come down and you know, bend your back and lay your body on your legs if you've got you know, some, some general range of motion. But keeping the back straight, Bending forward, it's a completely different stretch. It's a much more high quality stretch as well. So. And come up, switch, and then to the opposite side. Now, lift your heels up off the ground, pull your toes back, and pull your toes back as much as you can, straighten your back out, and lean forward. Now you notice I'm not leaning forward too much here, because I don't need to. You'll feel this in your upper calves, and tension in your legs right here, in your thighs. This is a burn though, guys. Keep those heels off the ground, keep the legs straight, pull those toes back as far as you can get them. And relax. Good. Now, we're going to take that left leg and we're going to bring it up. We're going to put it over <clears throat> the right knee like this. And then from here, I'm going to take my right arm and I'm going to put it between the wedge of my body and this leg. And I'm going to stretch and I'm going to look over my left shoulder. Now, of course, if I want to, I can do this by bringing my left leg in like this. I'm sorry, my right leg in, keeping my left leg perpendicular to the ground, taking this arm here, keeping it straight, and then stretching my back in this manner. So this is fine. You want to get in deep with this arm. The deeper you go, the better that stretch is going to be. And relax. Bring both feet back out in front. Good. And then we're going to stretch. And again, if you're going through a routine in a class, it doesn't make a difference with this leg. If you're doing it on your own, you want to bring it in like this, it's fine too. And relax. Now from here, we're going to bring the knees to the chest, and I'm going to roll myself up onto my back. Just like this. Keep the back straight, I'm sorry, keep the legs straight, and then from here I just want to get, I'm supporting my hips with my hands, and I just want to start getting a nice easy stretch on my back. I'm going to slowly bring my knees to my shoulder, to my forehead, and then from here, once I feel comfortable, I'm going to bring my left knee to my right ear. Straight my legs out again. And then switch sides. Now if you don't need the support of the hands, that's fine. Straight. Now, from here, you're going to open the shoulder blades and you want to go one vertebrae at a time down. Don't go fast with this. Keep the legs straight. And lower. 
when you're coming down at this point, to lessen the strain on your lower back, support the lower buttock with your hands. Good. Settle your spine with one breath. Now from here, take your left foot, <clears throat> bring it over your right, and roll yourself over onto your stomach. Both hands are now by your, uh, underneath the shoulders. And from here, we're going to push ourselves forward and come up into a cobra stretch. It's important that you don't just go straight up because you're compressing the spine as opposed to stretching. So again, we'll go back here and I'll demonstrate the mistake. Just coming up like this is just compressing your spine. Instead, what you want to do is you want to bring the hands to the stomach as you slide forward. You feel a different stretch when you do that. You also notice that I'm going to add some support with my toes. So from here, and then when I come up into this stretch, you can see my hands are now by my stomach. When I get to this position, I want to push my chin to the ceiling and my stomach out. Myself back down, pull my toes in, hands to the shoulders. Now I'm going to come up on my hands and knees. 90 degree angle with both my legs and my arms. I'm going to let my head rest and push the center of my back up to the ceiling. And then turn the spine slightly, wagging the tail, this is called. Now, take your left hand forward and open the fingers, and take your right hand forward and open the fingers. Come down onto the tops of your feet, and bring your hips to your heels. And you're going to slide the hands back, and you're going to bring your hips all the way to the heels, going into your happy puppy. And then from here, keeping your hips where they are without moving your body, walk your fingers forward. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. And slide yourself up. Good. Then from here, as you come up, go back to just where you feel that stretch. Again, I don't want to have my legs out to the side. I want to be in a stable seiza position. If you're not comfortable in seiza, that's fine. Uh, work, to your, work within your own comfort level, but remember, don't go to the point of pain. And support with your hands. And just keep going back until you feel that stretch into the point of your own comfort. And hold for 10 seconds. Stretch with the wrists. As we did in our basics, compress the wrists in. Switch hands without losing the contact. Compress the other wrist in. Switch, Monte Yaku. And switch, Monte Yaku. And switch, Monte Yaku. too uh, hard on this one. Make sure that thumb is behind the pinky. Make 
You're just going gentle on the stretch. Switch after your 10 second count. And that completes the basic stretching routine that I use for my beginners and they should have that from start to finish after a couple months uh, and be able to do this on their own. And of course, uh, it's, not, it's nothing orthodox, it's just the routine that I found uh, best suits uh, beginners uh, and myself for my own stretching routine. Uh, and it helps us stay uh, uh, flexible uh, and, and keeps our, our joints and our muscles and uh, ligaments and everything healthy. So, uh, go ahead and, and use this in your own routine if you want, and I'm also interested to hear uh, what stretches that you found uh, some success with. So I hope you enjoyed the segment, guys.